In a quiet corner of rural Tennessee, nestled beneath the sprawling branches of ancient oak trees, there stood a forlorn house that had long been shrouded in darkness. This was the infamous Bell Witch House, a place where terror reigned, and an entity of malevolence was said to dwell. The Bell family had lived there for generations, inhabiting the old, creaking structure, blissfully unaware of the ominous presence lurking within its walls. John Bell, a respected farmer, was the patriarch of the family. He had a loving wife, Lucy, and a brood of children, the youngest of whom was a girl named Betsy. She was a bright and cheerful child, her laughter filling the house like sunshine on a cloudy day. Life for the Bells had always been ordinary, filled with the joys and sorrows that befell any farming family. But all that changed on a fateful evening in the early 19th century when an eerie, discordant melody began to haunt their home. It was the sound of unearthly voices, whispers that seemed to float through the air, filling every corner with an inexplicable dread. At first, the bells dismissed it as the work of their vivid imaginations or the wind playing tricks on their ears. But soon, the haunting voices grew louder, clearer, and more sinister. They became more than mere whispers, they were a ceaseless, tormenting chorus that would not be silenced. One night, as the bells lay in their beds, the walls of their home seemed to tremble, as though the very structure itself was gripped by an unseen force. In the stillness of the night, a voice, cold and cruel, penetrated the darkness. I am the witch of the Bell family, it hissed. I have come to torment and torture. The children cowered beneath their covers, and John and Lucy Bell clung to each other in terror. They had heard tales of malicious spirits, but this was no ordinary ghost, this was a malevolent force that had attached itself to their family. The entity soon revealed itself to the family in a series of nightmarish manifestations. Objects moved of their own accord, furniture levitated, and invisible hands clawed at them in the darkness. The entity was relentless in its torment, particularly targeting young Betsy. The girl, who had once been full of life and laughter, now withered under the relentless onslaught. As the days turned to weeks and the weeks to months, the Bell family lived in a perpetual state of fear. They sought solace and help from their neighbors and the local community, and many gathered in their home to witness the bizarre occurrences. The entity, however, was cunning. It often disguised itself, masquerading as different spirits, speaking with various voices, and offering cryptic prophecies. Despite their efforts, the torment persisted, and as time passed, it became increasingly clear that the Bell Witch had no intention of leaving the family in peace. John Bell's health began to deteriorate rapidly, and his strength waned. He became bedridden, plagued by strange and debilitating illnesses, all attributed to the sinister entity's relentless pursuit. In the midst of the Bell family's despair, the entity made a chilling announcement. It declared that it would return in seven years, and when it did, it would reveal the cause of its relentless torment and suffering. The countdown had begun, and the family could only wait, their lives inextricably bound to the malevolent presence. Seven agonizing years passed, and true to its word, the bell which returned to the house. It was on this fateful night that the entity, in a voice as cold and wicked as ever, finally revealed the cause of its torment. It spoke of a land dispute, a bitter grudge, and a vengeful neighbor who had placed a curse upon John Bell, one that had brought upon the family this unending nightmare. The entity's revelation sent shockwaves through the community, for it was a name well known to them all. With its revelation, the malevolent presence began to fade, and the Bell family was finally freed from the years of torment. But the cost had been high. John Bell's health had deteriorated to the point of no return. He passed away shortly after the entity's departure, and the Bell family was left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. The Bell Witch had vanished, its vengeance sated, leaving behind a legacy of fear and intrigue that would endure for generations. The Bell Witch legend became an enduring part of American folklore, a tale of a family's harrowing ordeal, a malevolent entity, and the unbreakable bonds of love and resilience that helped them survive the darkest of nights. The Bell Witch had terrorized them, but in the end, it was the strength of their family that had seen them through to the dawn of a new day. The house still stands, a solemn reminder of a time when the line between the living and the dead became blurred, 
and a malevolent force known as the Bell which held an ordinary family in its sinister grasp. The story lives on, whispered by locals and passed down through generations, ensuring that the legend of the Bell Witch will never be forgotten. As the years passed, the story of the Bell Witch became an integral part of the community's history. The Bell family, despite the hardships they endured, remained a respected and beloved presence in the area. Betsy, who had been the primary target of the entity's torment, eventually found solace in marriage and motherhood, and she built a new life away from the haunted house that had once been her prison. The Bell Witch's curse and its revelations had far-reaching consequences. The malevolent presence that had haunted the family for so long served as a chilling reminder of the dangers of grudges and unresolved conflicts. The entity's tale also reinforced the power of resilience and familial bonds, as the Bell family had withstood the relentless onslaught and emerged stronger, even in the face of death. Visitors from far and wide were drawn to the Bell Witch House, eager to experience the supernatural presence that had once terrorized the family. The house itself, with its history of paranormal activity, became a place of fascination and dread, serving as a site for ghostly encounters, investigations, and countless retellings of the Bell Witch legend. Over the years, numerous books, films, and documentaries have explored the Bell Witch's tale, each offering its own interpretation of the chilling events that unfolded within the walls of the old, weathered house. The entity, forever remembered as the Bell Witch, had carved its name into the annals of American folklore, leaving a legacy that would endure for generations to come. And so, the Bell Witch's story lives on, a testament to the enduring power of the supernatural and the tenacity of the human spirit. It serves as a stark reminder that, in the darkest of nights, when malevolent forces seek to tear families apart, it is the bonds of love, courage, and resilience that ultimately prevail. The tale of the Bell Witch remains a chilling and enduring mystery, a story of terror, torment, and the unbreakable spirit of those who dared to stand against the unknown.